Hi everybody, today I'm here with my sister and my dog and I'm gonna teach you how to Dutch braid your hair. So all you'll need for this is just a hairbrush and some little like hair ties or rubber bands. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is just part the hair and you wanna go it all the way down through the back. So I just take the end of the brush and I just part it just like as a guide. So you wanna do a middle part and then bring it all the way down to the back. And once you have your part and your hair separated. So once you have your part looking like this, you wanna just tie one side of the hair so it doesn't get in the way. So you're just gonna start off by taking a little piece of hair and splitting it into three. So just like that. And then you want to take the inside hair and put it under. Since I'm Dutch braiding, you go under. And then that. And then you do one more from there. And then one more from the outside. And then you can start taking other pieces of hair. So I like to take really small pieces from the front to start off. And you want to make sure you're tying it pretty tight. Because the tighter, I think the tighter it is, the better it looks. So then you just can start taking hair from the inside where the part is and just keep pulling tightly. So you're gonna do this for a little bit. As you go, you can start to take bigger pieces of hair So this is what it looks like so far, and I stopped at like the end of the top of the head. And this is a style that I like to do, and you just braid this, so you stop taking hair and you braid it. You can continue and just do two full Dutch braids, but I like to stop and braid this off so it's almost like a little pigtail. And then I'm going to show you in the end a whole bunch of different designs you can do, or styles you can do with these miniature braids. And so I'll just show you how I braid this off. Sort of. So I'm just braiding this, just how you normally would. You wanna make sure all the hairs stay tight. This is what it looks like. It just comes down and it's just this little braid right here. And so now we're going to go on to the other side. You just repeat the same thing. So one tip I have when you're doing the other side is that you want to make sure that as you go, you're keeping it the same distance from the part. So if it's this close, you want to, if it's that close, you want to make sure it's that close on the other side. And so the way you do it is you just pull tighter from certain ends of the hair. So if I want to get it closer to the part i would pull from this side but if i want to get further i'll pull from that side so that's just a little tip i have because it looks better when they are symmetrical okay you can stop. so this is the final result and they just kind of fall down into the hair it looks very pretty so one of my favorite next steps to this there you can go in many different directions but my one of my favorite one is to just put it into a high pony so you just go like this and you want to stay gentle with the braids but they should stay in so So here's the along the same lines, except it's a low ponytail. And this one also looks super cute, but if you were looking for more of an athletic look and you want to play sports, I would stick to the high ponytail. So the last one I'm gonna show you is just a, like a crown. And this one's super simple. You just take another little rubber band and you can tie them together and you can put a bow there or a clip and it looks really good. 
course, you can also just keep it straight down. And this is also really pretty. Thank you everybody for watching and I hope this helped and I hope you're gonna try this super cute hairstyle for your next outing.